I want to introduce our next segment, which I know is a fan favorite, and that's the photo competition. But to set it off, I'd like to welcome back to the stage, Lucas Bravo. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alejandro. Um, I'm happy to be back on, on stage to introduce the next segment, the photo competition for World Oceans Day, which is celebrating its miles, milestone 10th anniversary this year. During the segment, you will see world-renowned photographers presenting this year's incredible winning images and hopefully experience the power of photography and art to remind us that of our, our inherent connection to the ocean a connection that facts and statistics cannot fully communicate alone. Uh, tuning in virtually uh, to kick us off will be Ellen Quayhart's freelance underwater and wildlife photographer and curator of the photo competition for World Oceans Day to share a bit more about the competition and this year's judges. Welcome to the exciting announcement of the winners of the 10th photo competition for United Nations World Ocean's Day. The 10th annual photo competition is coordinated in collaboration with the United Nations Division for Ocean Affairs and the Law of the Sea, Dai Photo Guide, Oceanic Global, Nausicaa, and the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO. Thanks to the efforts of the coordinators, who I want to thank sincerely and thanks to the participation of you, photographers, professional or amateur, or just people with a keen eye carrying a camera and pressing the shutter at the right moment, we have been able to build an extensive database of images in a wide array of categories to help visualize for decision makers and stakeholders that we have to put the ocean first. Everything is connected, and there is no planet Earth without a healthy planet ocean. The results of our photo competition have provided images showing the connection between livelihoods, coastal and urban communities, the challenge of human stressors on our water supplies, scientific discoveries and solutions, but also the beauty of all life depending on the seas and all creatures in the oceans. To celebrate this 10th anniversary, United Nations Division of Ocean Affairs and Law of the Sea has been granted the permission to showcase a celebratory exhibition in the visitors lobby at the United Nations in New York. The theme is Photography for Sustainable Development. The images are amplifying the narrative and the narrative is enhancing the images, thus proving the importance of photography at the negotiation table, the ability to be touched by an image, the evocation of curiosity, and the start of a dialogue leading to tides that are changing. We invite you to take a look at the exhibition in real life or at the UN exhibition website. And we hope you too will get carried away and inspired to be the change you want to see. And now, on to the results of the photo competition. Announced by Ian Bongo Seldrup, our hosting partner for the past 10 years with Dive Photo Guide. And the judges, Antoine Janssens, Rajan Desai, Ratika Ramasamy, Ipaud Lin, all at the top of their field in wildlife photography. Over to our host, Ian Bongo Seldrup, announcing the first category. No time to waste. Hi everyone. Ian Bongo Seldrup, Managing Editor of Dive Photo Guide, here in Melbourne, Australia. Over the last 10 years, the UN World Oceans Day Photo Competition has attracted many incredible images from all over the world. Overwhelmingly, they've shown us the beauty of the ocean and the creatures that rely on it, both animal and human, and inspired us to do our part to protect and conserve that beauty. But to really inspire us to take action, we also have to see the damage we've done, collectively, through our actions. 
this year in one category, we invited photographers to address the urgency of the problems that the oceans face by submitting a set of three images. The category is called No Time to Waste, and all three of our winners used their images to show the literal meaning of waste. In third place, Inez Gouvartz from Belgium. She's the in-house photographer for the global NGO River Cleanup. Her three images show the tragic buildup of plastic trash at the mouth of a river flowing into the Adriatic Sea. This is a river in Albania, but it could be anywhere. All over the world, rivers are carrying plastic, trash, industrial waste and other pollutants from our towns and cities to the oceans. Inez's images, especially the aerial shots, demonstrate very effectively just how huge this problem is. Second place goes to Simon Lorenz from Germany. Simon's a professional underwater photographer who's seen firsthand the tragic result of plastic pollution in the oceans. This isn't just plastic from our cities. This is another form of deadly plastic, ghost nets. Simon often comes across animals that have become entangled in these discarded and abandoned nets, living and dead. These three gut-wrenching images were shot in Sri Lanka's waters, but again, they could have been photographed anywhere. Sadly, there was nothing that could be done for the first turtle in that image, but incredibly, the turtle in the other two images was unharmed when Simon's team first found it and they managed to cut it free. Finally, the winner of the No Time to Waste category, Alvaro Herrero from Spain. And for anyone fascinated by the ocean's biggest animals, these three images really are incredibly difficult to look at. A humpback whale whose tail has become entangled in a buoy is tragically dying slowly and painfully. This is a tragic end for a beautiful animal a special animal, captured by another very skilled photographer. And it really hits home the tragic consequences of waste in our oceans and the urgent need to find solutions. Congratulations to all three winners for showing us these hard-hitting, thought-provoking images. Now here's competition judge Antoine Janssens unveiling the winners of putting the oceans first. Hi everyone, my name is Anton Janssens. I'm a videographer and photographer, and it's a huge honor to be part of the Watershed Day photo competition this year. I'm here today to announce the winners of one of the categories, and this one is called putting the oceans first. All right, let's start with the third place. The name of this photographer is Edouard Ereño Parra. Is from Colombia. His shot is called A's on the Future. On this photo, we can see a biologist who is making sure that these baby sharks has a normal activity to be fully released in the wild. And we have to know that this species of hammerhead sharks is critically endangered. So it's beautiful to see people um, just trying to save them and to avoid a complete extinction of uh, the species. Now the second place, and this shot is also made by Edouard Irene Opara, congratulations for that, um, it's called Full Hands, and on this photo we can see volunteers helping to oxygenate baby sharks before to put them, to release them, we would say, in the wild. And now time for the first place, congratulations to Tom Schlesinger from Israel, his shot is called Checking Out a Coral Nursery. As you can see, I really love this shot um, because we can see this turtle inside of a nursery, so inside a place made by human. But it's incredible to see how life is taking over this place um, in a completely natural way. Um, and now there is a full ecosystem uh, living inside of this nursery. And it's, it's, yeah, again, it's beautiful to see people putting energy to restore and to protect um, the ocean. I will now leaving you. I will now leave you and giving my place to another judge, Rajan Desai, for the announcing of a new category called 
the wonderful world of tides. Bye bye. It's my honor to announce the winners in my favorite category, The Wonderful World of Tides, which explores the importance of tides to millions of people and other species around the world that depend on them. So here we go. Honorable mention goes to Nuria Buford Costa from Spain, who captured a beautiful portrait of a marine iguana resting on the shore during low tide. These marine reptiles found only on the Galapagos Islands survive on the algae exposed during the low tide. And the second honorable mention goes to Palvos Evangelitis from Greece for the photo titled Catch of the Day showcasing the traditional stilt fishermen in action in Kogala, Sri Lanka. This photo is an excellent example of our dependence on the ocean, mainly the rise and fall of tides. And in the third place we have Alex Parmiakov from Russia. This photo makes me smile. Congratulations on capturing a beautiful moment of a surfer catching a big wave. In the second place, we have Sina Ritter from Germany. This photo celebrates nature at its best. It's always wonderful to see a newly hatched turtle reach the water successfully, completing a small but essential part of the journey of its survival. While capturing this magical moment, Sina used the golden light of the settings and beautifully creating a lovely photograph. In the first place, we have Chris Cook from USA. Chris used his drone to capture this aerial view of the waves crashing on the beach. The photo captures the energy and the power of the waves as they explode on the beach. Chris showed patience and creativity in capturing the right moment, even if that meant returning to this location multiple times. Congratulations to all the winners and to those who participated in this year's competition. Now it's my honor to introduce my fellow judge Radhika Ramaswamy, one of the most influential wildlife photographers from India. For her wildlife photography is passion and a powerful medium to connect and conserve nature. Radhika will present the winners of the category Ocean is Life next. Hi, I am Radhika Ramasamy, wildlife photographer from India. I am honored to be a jury member for the 10th annual UN World Ocean Day photo contest. Ocean photography helps us to connect to marine life and enable us to realize that we are blessed to uh, have a large biodiverse system which represents 70% water in the earth. I am privileged to announce the winners of the Ocean is a Life category. The honorable mention goes to Galais Hora from France. The mouth brooding cardinal fish taken at uh, Saladin, Indonesia. The hatchlings look like uh, illuminated stars. Very well taken. The third place goes to Rachel Moore from USA. Uh, group of sharks taken at uh, Tomato uh, Islands, showcasing the beautiful underworld uh, of uh, sharks family and healthy population rise in the century. So, including the diver in the composition gives the scale of depth in the photograph. And the second place goes to Nicholas Manager from Germany, giant humpback pair. So, I loved how he captured the decisive intimate moment it looks as uh, if they are reassuring themselves and ready to take off the world like the uh, simple symmetry composition works very well here and finally winner of the ocean is life category the mother and son collecting seagrass meadows in the in bali indonesia it captures their work in the handed moment and we could see ocean biodiversity uh, plays a big role in the day-to-day -day livelihood. Wonderfully composed. Uh, I like how the photographer placed all subjects in each layer. Hearty congratulations to all the winners and happy World Ocean Day to everyone. The next Miss uh, Ipa Woodland presenting big and small underwater faces category winners. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Ipa Hiwaidi Lin and I am based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'm a professional wildlife and underwater photographer and also a scuba instructor. I'll be announcing the category Big and Small Underwater Faces, which is my favorite category of all. This category showcases stunning images of portrait photography underwater and the pictures are simply amazing. 
The third place goes to Adriano Moretin from Italy. Now this stunning image showcases three porcelain crabs symmetrical on a soft coral, which is not easy to actually shoot. The second place goes to Simon Temple from United Kingdom. His image showcases a common goby inside the sea urchin, which has vibrant colors all around it, making it spectacular. And the first place goes to Glenn Austell from USA. Now this image showcases a young seal full of emotion surrounded by fishes while hunting. Incredible. Congratulations to all the winners in this category. Ellen Galatz, our curator, will now announce the final category, Underwater Seascapes. To you, Ellen. Thank you, Ipa. Underwater Seascapes usually is a category with many entries, and to grab the attention of our seasoned judges is an accomplishment on its own. Ending this winner's announcement with a category full of wide-angled dream value, we hope to inspire you to take action to protect these amazing sceneries. Honorable mention goes to Fan Ping, China. It's a serene image of Cenote de Pit in the Yucatan Peninsula. Freshwater aquifers are connected to the ocean and the lives of many people are depending on these supplies, but also the reefs depend on the preservation of the water quality within. Third place goes to Simon Biddy of the United Kingdom. Many images of the playful colony of sea lions at Los Islotes in a National Marine Park and UNESCO World Heritage Site close to La Paz in Mexico, have placed in this competition the past years. But this one, with a silhouette of a female playing with two pups, surrounded by a shoal of sardines, evokes such an intimate view in a world hidden to many that the judges and I could not resist. Second place goes to Mayumi Takuchi Ebbins, also United Kingdom. A female moon jellyfish changes color to a bright pink when she's ready for mating and she attracts a bloom of males. It's a stunning image taken in the cold waters around Alaska. And the first place goes to Andy Schmidt from Switzerland. An action shot of a female orca feeding on schools of herring in the fjords of northern Norway taken while free diving. And the clarity in this shot is just inviting, although taken in difficult and low light conditions, which would, which would classify as uninviting. So well done. Congratulations to all winners and participants. And thank you for sharing your images to help educate and preserve our fragile balance on our blue planet. Thank you for organizing this day and for making the photo competition a part of it. A special thank you to François Ballet, whose tireless efforts have kept this photo competition growing. Happy 10th anniversary. Back to you in New York. And remember, let's make every day World Oceans Day. Bye-bye.